Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, whenever I announce giveaways, there's always a giveaway going on. I think I announced like 10 or more secret passwords for this month, so go back, make sure you get all of them in so you can be entered to win a mystery box. And you will also find out whenever I go live. I am currently planning on going live again on June 8th at 5 p.m. Pacific, so hopefully I'll see some of you there for that. As always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have another box from Celebrate States and it has been sent to me for review. In case you couldn't already guess the name, each month they do celebrate a different state, which is really fun and educational. There's often some delicious treats from that state inside as well. The box is $45 per month plus $8 in shipping. And of course, I have a code for you. It is Noel50, Noel50, and that will get you half off of your first box in a three or six month subscription, which already has some savings baked into it. So let's go ahead and dive in and see where we are going for this month. I have to say I have not been to as many states as I have countries. It is definitely something that is on my list. I would love to visit every state at some point in my life. So it looks like this box is celebrating Kentucky, specifically the Kentucky Derby, which I think is super fun. Let me know in the comments below if you watched the Kentucky Derby and that big upset. I love a big upset. It is so much fun. I was a little disappointed they decided not to go for the Triple Crown, but still, I just thought it was a great story, like that last minute entry. My parents actually once upon a time we're going to breed racehorses so we are definitely horse people in my family which is obviously kind of makes it seem like a place that I should have gone to I have driven through Kentucky but I did not get a chance to uh, go ahead and hang out there for much time so just a little note thanks for the review I'll take that and then we do have a whole long little message here about what's in your Kentucky Derby box. So it's not just Kentucky, it is a Kentucky Derby box. We also got this nice magazine from probably their tourism board. Of course, we've got the horses there on the front. You gotta love that inspiration guy. That's a good, that's a good name for it. So it says horses, win place, and all the shows, outdoors, endless adventures to play your way, and music here, there, everywhere, a stage. So this looks like something I'm gonna have to flip through. This might uh, be a few future little uh, weekend trip that I go on with my husband. So inside you guys, you can see a lot of edible treats peeking out in there. I'm pretty excited about it. So it looks like I just have one sheet that is front and back and then we do have Kentucky Derby trivia, fun and facts. Man, I would love to go to the Kentucky Derby one day, just I think for the clothes, right? Cause you get to get all dressed up, you get to wear that big hat or like a fascinator. I always think those are really cool. I just think it'd be really fun. Drink your mint and juleps, right? So it looks like it originated back in 1875. Wow, that is crazy. So this is like a long pamphlet, so I'm not going to necessarily tell you. The fastest Kentucky Derby was run by Secretariat in 1973. That is a great story as well. We got Kentucky Derby vocabulary, so hopefully I know some of that, like thoroughbred, for example. Oh, it's all alphabetized too. We got uh, tack, I know what that is. Turf, I know what that is. Let's see, sire, I know what that is too. All right, and then we have um, in the back, it's got Kentucky facts, so you can actually fill out this little worksheet where you write in the capital, the abbreviation, um, and we have a little map, we have the coin, so there is that educational part, and then we even have a word search on the back, so again, a box that can be definitely enjoyed by the entire family. So let me go ahead and start pulling out some items so that I can share them with you and dive into them soon. I'm always excited about this box because I'm always excited for snacks. So this says Kentucky Proud Yankee Doodle Deli brand Honey Zells, so they're flavored gourmet pretzels. Let me say, it says the story of our company is really about three dogs, a dream and a purpose. Our owner Marilyn started baking as a way to work through her grief after Yankee Doodle, her beloved Sheltie passed away. One of her most successful creations was her spicy pretzel snack. The gift shop at Drake Medical Center asked to carry them and the business was born. The following year, Marilyn bought a six year old Sheltie into her life. Her name was Karma and she brought good luck to Marilyn and her business. After Karma passed, Marilyn went several years without a dog until friends offered her a 
puppy, Zelly, a lively mix of poodle, shih tzu, and Pomeranian. Oh my gosh, sounds so cute. She is an excellent mascot for Zells. From the beginning, Marilyn designed her business as a way to give back to the community. In addition to donating a portion of our annual profits to cure Parkinson's disease, we use our hiring practices to make a real difference locally. We partner with the Life Learning Center and Point Arch to hire second chance and non-traditional workers. We also partner with local organizations to raise money to support their work. That is why we say Zells are pretzels with a purpose. Well, man, I know it took me a long time to read that, but I am so glad that I did. That is awesome. All right, we got another item. Let me just uh, dust it off because that shred can get a little bit dusty. It also has a sticker that says Kentucky Proud. It says Earthy Browns Olive Oil Soap. Ooh, in mint julep. How appropriate for this box. Let me see if I can find this one. So Earthy Browns. It's a nice, good size bottle. They're from Shelbyville, Kentucky. It says this story began at a Jimmy Buffett concert. These all have great stories. Way back in 1996, Paul and Kay fell in love. Even then, Paul was just as earthy, growing his own food, brewing his own beer, foraging for mushrooms and whatnot. We would call him crunchy. Kay thought that his ways were odd, but she loved him nonetheless. In the late 90s, Paul took up beekeeping. His bees provided not only honey, but wax. With the wax, Paul began making hand and lip balms. Then Paul and Kay had a bunch of babies. They began reading the labels a little more carefully and noticed that food and skincare products were full of what some might call poisons. Not good enough for the brown babies. So Paul and Kay made a few changes. Paul began growing and and hunting even more for the family's food. They got some chickens. They made the baby food soaps and lotions. They have a few small plots of land where they keep gardens, apiaries, and an orchard. They make what they can. They teach their children at home. They work every day to live a self-sufficient, simple, and gentle life. I love that. I love that story. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna smell this though because I think it's gonna be really nice with the mint. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell like a mint julep. But don't worry, I won't drink it, but an olive oil soap. Nice. In a nice little pump bottle too. All right. Something that got kind of crunched. I'm a little sad. It got crunched by that bottle, but you know, sometimes it's going to taste just as good. This is Sweet Ruby's oh, cheddar cheese straws, you guys. Mm, cheese crunchies, like one of my favorite things ever. Mother's table was the heart of our home. Guests and family always gathered there to be greeted with a glass of sweet tea or a warm cup of coffee. Decisions were made, world problems solved, jokes and old stories told, but most of all, memories were made. Ruby was a wonderful cook. She was a true Southern lady who grew up in hard times. Every Sunday, you could count on church with fried chicken to follow, paired with a perfectly sweet piece of homemade pie. That sounds awesome. The one word that best resonates to me and those close to her was sweet. She was the definition for all of the sweet yet to bloom in this world. For months, I pondered names for the business and it was always right there in front of me. She was sweet Ruby. So we encompass the legacy she left behind for you and all others to cherish and savor. Oh, I love that. So there is a little note from Celebrate States here at the end. It says, we hope that you love our Kentucky Derby box in other honor of Mother's Day. So this was the May box. It says, we have brought to you items from all women-owned businesses and one wonderful homeschool family. Their stories touched our hearts and hope it did yours as well. I love these stories. This is like the stuff that I love in subscription boxes where they work with small businesses. This is like my favorite so far. All right, so let me flip this around again. So it looks like we got a total of six items in here. We got something from Moss Hill says Moss Hill Bath and Body Collection Bluegrass. Oh, it's a hand and body lotion. And it also came in a little pump bottle. It looks like refreshing, doesn't it? Says uh, Moss Hill began out of a desire to create thoughtful, luxurious gifts for friends and family. We're a woman owned family business that believes there is joy in the simple things and that indulgence comes in many forms, like taking time to enjoy a beautiful sunset, feel of a gentle breeze or noticing the birds singing. Everyone bathes. Why not indulge in a lovely product and turn the mundane into a joyful experience? Our products are made in small batches and with hands-on attention. Our handmade products carry the Kentucky Crafted and Kentucky Proud seals of approval. Celebrate States has chosen a decorative horse soap and a wonderful smelling lotion for your enjoyment. Oh my gosh, you guys. So that was a little spoiler. So we actually got more than the six items, six companies represented. I'm going to smell this first. Ooh, that smells really good. Bluegrass. It's like definitely a little bit floral, but not, not too perfumey. I'm going to like that. That's awesome. And I love that story. So let me find the uh, decorative. Oh, oh, I'm totally giving this to my mom. She's going to love it. My mom is has a horse now. She's like always had horses. She's the horse person on our family. Wow, this is so great. She's going to love this. Look at that horse mold. That soap is so awesome. Handmade in Kentucky. It says bathe in bourbon. It's a four ounce soap. Oh, that's so cool, you guys. I wonder if it's like got bourbon in it. So 
that's the other thing, of course, that the Kentucky is known for, right? And I guess like uh, Louisville too, but um, horses, horses and bourbon can't go wrong with that combo. This is, ooh, Bowers Candies Original Mojescas Caramel Marshmallows. Oh, soft buttery and handcrafted with rich cream. Okay, these are going to be mine. It says uh, four ounces worth. So these are like, they look like individually wrapped. Um, they sound amazing. Let's see. So they're out of Lawrenceville, Kentucky. A step back in time, ele elegance and tradition is what we hope you will experience when you indulge in our famous Majesca Majescas. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. After just one, you'll never dream of sugar plums again. What is a Majesca? It's a word that conjures up visions of supremacy, of mastery, of power. Wow. It sounds like magic. It tastes like heaven. It's not a word you'll find in Webster's Dictionary. It's the name of a Polish actress, Madame Helena Majeska. Famed queen of the European stage, appeared at the Macaulay Theatre in Louisville, Kentucky. Her appearance in 1883 was the U.S. debut of the play A Doll's House, written by Henrik Ibsen. It's a very interesting play, by the way. I'm a big fan of, like, Ibsen plays. Um, her theatrical performance was enthralling to a patron attending this debut, Mr. Anton Busaf owner of Busath Candies, who was honored by an introduction to the beautiful actress. He asked and was granted permission to name his confection after her. After Busath Candies closed in 1947, we began calling our caramel biscuit the Majeska in honor of the creator, Anton. So it says, oh yeah, the Bauer family has a tradition of passing down the mastery of cotton making, candy making through the years, generation after generation. Until Anna Bauer took ownership, the business had only been passed down to Bauer's sons. Anna's the first daughter to own and operate Bauer's Candies Incorporated. I'm proud to carry on the name, the tradition, and the quality of the product we have. I'm equally as proud to have two sons, Matt and Mike, that love the company and its legacy as much as I do, who are committed to carrying the Bauer name into the fifth generation, Anna says. Under her stewardship, Bowers Candies Incorporated is thriving, growing business, experiencing yet another cycle in its long history. The Majescas are shipped all over the United States and the rest of the world to Canada, Budapest, China, even to a lord and lady every year in England. Majescas are still made the old-fashioned way with heavy, pure ingredients. No shortcuts are ever taken. I wish I could hear what my father would say about the new factory and the direction we are taking. I know that he would be proud. So that is so interesting. I wonder if anything ever happened between Mr. Anton Busath and uh, Miss Majeska, aside from his admiration of her acting skills. But um, they sound really good. Caramel marshmallows, guys. Caramel marshmallows, but it's the, uh, it was a caramel biscuit, but it's a caramel marshmallow. I'm wondering, no, they're I think they're soft. They look pillowy and soft and delicious and sugary goodness. Oh, we got like a little candy heart. I think this is just like a little extra for for um, Mother's Day, maybe. Um, I'm not a mom, but I will enjoy a chocolate uh, a chocolate rose for sure. And then we have one final item, a Kentucky Swedish cloth. I like this. We, so we have some uh, Polish actress. We have a Swedish dish cloth. Um, so this is from Fish Kiss. Oh, Fish Kiss by Wet It. So it has a state map on it, which is great. I love these Swedish dish cloths. I know that you can use them in place of paper towels. It's a lot more eco-friendly. I like to use them to like catch moisture. So like under my berry colanders or like grape colanders, anything that might have some moisture, I just like to use this as my like trivet and it just absorbs all of the moisture. And I even put them into my refrigerator that way because then I don't hear the like clanking ceramic on the glass like shelves. I know that's kind of silly, but I, that's what I use them for as well as like wiping down the counters a lot of the time. So it says, our business adventure began in 2009 when I surprisingly realized that the super absorbent sponge cloths I used during my years growing up in Sweden were not a common commodity in U.S. homes. In a few short years, we've been met with an overwhelming response from consumers. They all love our product. What makes the wet it cloths so impressive is their absorption and biodegradable qualities. The fabric is a tried and true Swedish invention, Swedish invention from the 1940s and is made of a perfect blend of high grade cotton and wood pulp. The idea behind the wet it is to eliminate or reduce the amount of paper towel waste. Our wet its are like a reusable paper towel that far outperforms any sponges. They are efficient, reusable, eco-friendly, and 100% biodegradable and stylish and educational because you can kind of see some of the uh, regional representations on this map. I will say this is a much thinner Swedish dish cloth that I'm used to. Usually they are a little bit thicker, like maybe twice the thickness, which I'm, I'm kind of excited about. And it is dishwasher safe. I often put mine in the dishwasher when they get a little bit dirty. Machine washable if you want to, so it's really just like a cloth. Cloth, and it says bleach when needed. So again, it is 70% cellulose and 30% cotton. So 
It absorbs six 16 times its weight and lasts for more than six months. So I have to say, I don't use them enough that I've actually had to replace them, but I do have like a little slot for them. They take up so much less space too than a roll of paper towels. So I'm all about Swedish dishcloths. And in terms of an item that is not edible that you're going to keep in your home, I like this. Yes, it has Kentucky on it, but it doesn't feel like super souvenir -y and it's very functional. So this is the kind of item that I like to receive in a destination box. It, yes, it does have the destination on it, but it's still a useful item and it doesn't feel like super touristy. So going over everything again, we got our Bowers Candy, Mo oh, that's the wrong thing. We got our Majescas, which I'm still not sure if I'm saying that right, but I loved hearing the history of that. We got our Zells by Yankee Doodle Deli out of Covington. That's our delicious little pretzels with the great story. Two items from Moss Hill Bath and Body in Louisville. We got our bluegrass body lotion as well as this gorgeous horse soap which I'll be gifting to my mom and she'll like never use it because it's so pretty. From Wet It we got our Kentucky Swedish dish cloth which I feel like is so funny to say Swedish Kentucky Swedish dish cloth. From Earthy Browns we got what was that that we got from there we got our oh yeah our our oil olive oil soap in mint julep mm. and then finally we got our Sweet Ruby's cheese straws so we got a lot of bath and body products as well as some delicious treats and a lot of it that's usable yes all of it that's usable let me know in the comments below if you've had the opportunity to visit Kentucky if so what did you do there have you ever gone to the Kentucky Derby and let me know what your favorite item in this particular box was I think my favorite item is the horse soap just because I know that my mom is going to like it and it's kind of fitting that this was like a Mother's Day box and that I'm going to share part of it with her and I also really am excited about the Majescas because they just sound delicious I hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up it would really help me out and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.